In this pencast, we're going to know and use the relationship sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. So first, we have a 3, 4, 5 triangle. And we can start out by just looking at the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we know that 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. And we know that 9 plus 16 equals 25, so 25 equals 25. So the Pythagorean theorem also obviously works in this case. But we can also relate this to the angles. So if we just had our triangle and we had sides A, B, and C, we know that sine of this angle right here, A, big A, sine of big A equals A over C and then the cosine of an angle, of the angle A, equals B over C. Now if we had our Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If we divided each side by C squared, we have A squared over C squared plus B squared over C squared equals 1. Then we could pull the square out of each to make this. And now what we can actually substitute our sine in for here and our cosine in for here and we should have sine of a squared plus cosine of a squared equals 1. So as you can see that's how we can find that relationship listed above sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. So now let's apply this to our 3, 4, 5 triangle. So we know that if we have our angle a here we know sine of A will be our opposite over hypotenuse, which is 3 over 5. And then if we have our cosine of A, we know that's our adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is 4 over 5. So now if we plug that into our equation, we would have sine A squared, which is 3 fifths squared, plus cosine A squared, which is 4 fifths squared, which should equal 1. So if we distribute the square, we would have 3 squared over 5 squared plus 4 squared over 5 squared equals 1, which is 9 over 25 plus 16 over 25 equals 1. And because we have a common denominator, we can add them. So that's 25 over 25 equals 1, and simplifying that, that's 1 equals 1. So as we can see, that sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1 is indeed true.